So again, do we have all the numbers? No, we sure don't. So we fill in all the rest of the blanks, which are called irrational numbers. And since it has a little prefix IR, that means the opposite of the opposite of rational numbers. What we said about rational numbers is that they have to be able to be written as a fraction, integer divided by another integer, okay? Uh, we also said, I, I think I didn't talk about the, that part of the definition uh, a little bit, was uh, that the bottom number can't be zero just because we can't divide by zero, okay? So um, the irrational numbers are the exact opposite. You cannot write them as a fraction. You cannot write them as a ratio of two integers. And some examples of those are, some famous examples are like square root of two and this number e, we're going to learn a lot about e and then last year of course you did a lot of stuff with pi, ate it, used it in math problems, whatever. Okay, and this, this completely fills all of those gaps. Oh yeah, and uh, before I forget, there is um, there's a symbol for irrational numbers too. It's pretty clever. So uh, remember this from geometry. It was a, a, a tilde. Like you find it on your keyboard to the left of the number one. In geometry, do you remember what it meant when you were doing all the symbols and stuff? It meant not. So if I put that little not symbol in front of the symbol of rationals, it means not rational, which are the irrational numbers. So that is what we use for irrational numbers. All right, so this is, if I take all of those numbers together, put everything together, I have just made the real number line. So the definition of a real number is a number that is either one of these two things. It is either a rational number or it's an irrational number, and that's it. That's what real numbers are. It is either a rational number, as in it can be written as a ratio of two integers, like a fraction, or it can't. And you might say, well, what about zero? Well, zero is just zero over one, so it fits the bill. So here's, here's the follow-up question. What about, what about all the rest of the integers and whole numbers? Again, all you have to do is put them over one, and then you've just made yourself a rational number, okay? So they come in two kinds. Real numbers come in two kinds, rational ones and irrational ones, and then that's it. And uh, of course, the, the rational ones have uh, little sets with inside, uh, inside each one of them. And real numbers gets its own little abbreviation, and this is the one that we will we'll see most common throughout the whole year. It just looks like an R. The double stroke R looks like this. You just make uh, two little <laughs> vertical strokes right there. Bam. Okay. All the other sets are part of the real numbers, all the ones that we've talked about so far in this video. So here I'm going to ask you to uh, draw me a Venn diagram, like the, the one that was at the beginning of this lesson, you know, circles and circles and stuff like that, that represents the set of real numbers. So pause the video right now, think about it for a second, just jot down what you think a Venn diagram would look like for the set of real numbers. Include, you have um, rationals and irrationals and integers and whole numbers and, and natural numbers. And include all those in there. So pause it. Okay, so let's see if what you came up with. Did you come up with something like this? This is taken, picture taken straight from your book. And this one, unlike the one that we started the lesson with, it doesn't have an overlap. There's absolutely no overlap between rational numbers and irrational numbers. There's a line straight down the middle. If you are a rational number, you cannot also be an irrational number. There's a word for that. It is mutually, actually it's two words, mutually exclusive. If you're one of these things, you can't be the other one. It can't happen at the same time. Okay. And then within the rational numbers, you have the set of integers. So look at the integers in this blue. It's inside of the rational ones. So you have every single integer is also a rational number. But is every rational number an integer? No, because you got like that 0.75 that's on the outside of that one. Okay, inside the integers, you have all of the whole numbers. Every single whole number is an integer. Do you have integers that are not whole numbers? Sure. All of these, like, negative ones, they're not in there. Now, you could break this up just one more spot and just kind of divide a line right here and say, hey, you got zero, and make these the, uh, 
good old-fashioned natural numbers. That was an in I just tried to draw. So as part of your uh, assignment tonight, I'm looking for a graphic. Something like this could, could uh, fulfill that requirement. Okay. So the second one, just some questions here. How many real numbers are there? How many are there? What do you think? That's right. There's an infinite number of them. So infinite. N phi. Um, I'm Mr. Noel, and I can't spell infinite. There we go. There's an infinite number. How many natural numbers are there? Well, again, there's a, there's an infinite number of them. That, that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Um, how many even numbers are there? Think about that. Even. Well, they never stop either, right? Two, four, six, and they, there's an infinite number of those. Now, this is why I'm asking you this. Just, just compare these things. Remember that, like, the even numbers, that is a set within the natural numbers. And the set that's in the natural numbers is, like the even ones, there's an infinite number. Okay, now, now think about that. There's, the natural numbers also have another infinite set in them called the uh, odd ones, right? You got the even ones and you have the odd ones. Hmm. Now think of the real numbers. The real numbers have the natural numbers in it, but it has a whole bunch of other numbers besides that. But they're both infinite. What this implies is that there's different sizes of infinity. That might make your head explode just a little bit. There are different sizes of infinity. If you're interested in that kind of thing, there's an optional video down below. Uh, I just take a look. Okay, so here's a couple of questions. This is where we'll wrap this one up. If a number is rational, oh, well, actually, why don't you stop just for a second? You, you answer those questions, not just yes or no, but just try to think about why it might be yes or why it might be no before I do them all with you, okay? Just pause you see if you can do it yourself. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if you got these correct. If a number is rational, can it also be irrational? Can they both, can a number be both of those at the same time? Now, remember these things are mutually exclusive. That is impossible. If one is rational, that means you could write as a fraction. That means it's not irrational. They're opposites, so mutually exclusive. No. All right, if a number is irrational, can it also be an integer? If it's irrational, if it's irrational, that means that it cannot be written as a fraction, but all integers can, because you just put it over one. So that means it's irrational. So this is the same answer as number one. So I'm gonna say no, C number one. Okay, so it's, it's for the same exact reason. Number three, if a number is an integer, must it also be natural? If a number is an integer, must it also be natural? Well, no, because what about what about zero? What about all the negative ones, right? So we're going to have to say no on that one, too. No. What about the negatives? Ah. Finally, number four. Well, it's got to be no, right? It seems to fit the pattern here. Let's see. If a number is an integer, must it also be rational? If a number is an integer, well, yes, that is true. Because any integer, let's say I have 7, all I have to do is put that as 7 over 1, and I've made it an, an, uh, a rational number. Or if I could be clever about it, and I could go, oh, that's uh, like 14 over 2. And um, still, I've written that integer as a fraction. All right, let me just check just to be sure. Yeah, that's it on that one. So that talked about all the different kinds of real numbers. So next, 